Hello, my name is David Hill and I am the Senior Technical Marketing Architect for VMware's Cloud Services Business Unit, vCloud Air. Today I am going to talk to you about VMware vCloud Air Disaster Recovery and specifically in this video I am going to talk through the prerequisites you need to get you started with using the replication service and failing over virtual machines into the cloud. What I'm going to talk about in this tutorial are some of the assumptions that are needed in order to confirm everything has been deployed correctly in your on-premises vSphere environment. We are first going to make sure we have network connectivity, which is going to be key as the service runs over the public internet. I'm also going to assume that you have downloaded and deployed the vSphere replication appliance from my VMware. Once all this is done, the appliance should be registered with vCenter. One of the things we are going to look at in this video is that it did get installed correctly, that the plugin is registered correctly, and that everything is set up and ready to go. Let's take a look at these first steps, which is making sure the appliance is installed and all the settings are correct. So the first thing we're going to do to make sure that our vSphere replication is installed correctly is we're actually going to go and configure the vSphere Replication appliance. So we go to the vSphere Replication plugin and we simply click the Configure button which takes us out to the vSphere Replication appliance configuration user interface. We log into that and we go to the Configuration tab which allows us to check the status and the configuration options we have for this vSphere Replication appliance. So we can see that we've got our lookup service address, which is pointing to our vCenter server. We've got the vSphere Replication Manager host, which is the IP address of this replication appliance. And then we also have the vCenter server address, which is the vCenter server we want to use for replicating our virtual machines. And then in order to configure that, we simply click the Save and Restart Service. So this will reconfigure our configuration options that we've entered and connect to the vCenter server. So we enter our password and we click save and restart. It verifies that our SSL certificates are correct and then it will restart the service and configure everything correctly. So now that we see that our configuration is successfully saved, we can see at the bottom that the server status is showing us that the VRM service is running and we know that everything is running OK and we can go and configure our replication services. Now one of the things that we need to consider is security and it's always recommended to change your default passwords. So you do that by simply clicking on the security button and you can enter your current password and change it for a new password. So it's always recommended to change your password straight away once you've configured your replication appliance. Another thing we can do through the replication appliance is actually update the versions that we have and we do that by clicking on the update tab. We have a number of options where we can click for check update and this will actually go out to the internet and check for update or we can actually configure the settings and use a CD-ROM that we may have attached or we can assign a specific repository to go and configure and find the update for this replication appliance. So now we'll go back to the vSphere web client and we'll check that our status is OK. We'll give it a refresh. It'll load the plugin and it'll make sure that everything is connected correctly. And we see that the status now shows OK. So we'll click on the monitor button and then we can check that everything's working properly with the vSphere replication appliance. Now we see because this is a new appliance and we've just installed it, we don't have any outgoing or incoming replications configured. But we know that this appliance is running successfully because we're not seeing any errors when we go into this area. If it wasn't configured correctly, we would receive an error saying it's unable to connect to the vSphere Replication Manager service. Now that we have completed our prerequisites checks, the next video will discuss configuring your remote site. You can watch that and other tutorials at vcloud.vmware.com slash tutorials. Thank you for watching.